Hey you guys, it's your girl, My Power Source, and I actually don't know what this video is going to be about today, but I do know I did my hair today, so how we liking it? Ugh. Also too, someone actually gifted me three flowers. I went to the grocery store. And for whatever reason, she was just like, did you want some flowers? And I was like, yeah. So actually, that's my thumbnail, y'all. Kind of want to like slick, find a way to add these in here. Look at that. Now we got our flowers in here. Okay, y'all know we're going to get some tarot. I am a prophetess, Sagittarius, so you know I'm an optimist. Um, we're going to see what this is about, though. We're going to see what this message is a freaking about. No editing. No editing. Mwah. No editing, okay? Y'all know I'm a millennial, because y'all probably like, girl, we already cleaned the cars and stuff earlier. So I'm trying to see until we get some smoke. So we get some smoke. I'm channeling y'all's message. The message is giving being yourself. The message is giving being comfortable with yourself. Showing your personality. You know, um, embracing who you are. I follow Cyreal Astrology. And today as I'm recording this, it's February 8th. Therefore, it's leaving us one, two, three, four, five, six days until Aquarius season, February 13th. And it is giving this healing energy, this energy where we are releasing, this energy where we are healing, this energy where we are detaching from, you know, all of the deficits, all of the things that ground us, you know, just getting away from material getting away from um getting away from items you know not allowing possessions or items or things to ground you or hold you back although we know how important things in, these things are kind of going very deeper into ourselves going deeper into what's going on and not allowing anything to really make us us okay so it's, it's weird because i thought i was going to be using the tarot cards but i'm not and it's almost giving this energy where this in this life what we choose to believe in is where we receive our reward in a way so it's not that it's i don't care what you think about right now but the message is whatever you believe in is what is now in a way coming true for your life so if you believe that you can't do something then you probably won't be able to you know if you believe that something is go gonna go wrong then it probably is going to go wrong you know it's just these things where our mind becomes so freaking powerful that we almost lose track of ourselves so with that being said um I will be getting into some cars, but I just had to deliver that message first. I think a lot of people are, in a way, attached to certain beliefs. And it's not about that. It's just about being able to be different, in a way. You know, daring to be bold. Daring to be different. And I know that everyone else is doing this, and I know that everyone else is doing that, and, you know, I know that that's working for Sarah, and I know that that looks nice on John, but it's like, dare to be different. You know, dare to be you. You know, dare to be bold. Dare to just try it, because you just never know. And that's what it all comes down to, you know, just this energy where you just never really know. And what you never really knowing why not? And it's so funny because I know that I'm like a millennial. But it's so interesting because it's like 
it's people that are like dying to get back to this mindset and you know it's so funny because uh as we get into aquarius season aquarius is the opposite of leo whereas leo talks about the inner child and this could just talk about a season where we heal things that went on during leo season you know things that are wrapping up from leo season what were you doing in leo season that is a really really key indicator of things that you are detaching from right now and it's very interesting because leo, you know leo looks for attention aquarius is more like i'm not looking for attention but some way somehow i'm still attracting it i'm still getting it i'm i'm you know i'm still around it it's it's still there you know what i mean so this is just intro to aquarius season and vedic astrology of course aquarius season what is aquarius season looking like mm -mm -mm. So funny because those two cards are just stuck. Some of you guys are gonna get really lucky. Wow, the Ten of Cups. This is really interesting because the Ten of Cups, and I just said some of you guys are gonna get lucky. I'm hearing if I do say so myself, it's just this energy where it's like, I think you're gonna get lucky. The Ten of Cups is just this energy. It almost feels like not be quiet, not hush, but it almost feels like you got lucky. Someone is going to get very lucky in Aquarius season. Something is looking really um, odd and peculiar. Aquarius energy. Something unexpected in a way. Like you're not expecting this. It's like this can't be happening you know this is this real like you're going to be so excited like I don't know what this is I feel the joy the joy is like it's so good it's like um It's gonna be so good because you're like this is everything I wanted this this is exactly how I wanted things to be and it's gonna scare you because it's what you wanted oh my god this energy is so good it's so good it's so good it's 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 really 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 good i can't stress this enough it's just this energy where it's just like um it's so good it's so good it's whatever this is it's it's the full package it's um unexpected in a way it's uh it's different and it's so funny because everybody is like settling like we were just talking about everybody is just quick to um settle for the small thing or to settle for the you know the smaller or just the the small joy but the the ten of cups this energy it's like no bigger no better ah, this is really 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 good wow okay someone is about to get really 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 lucky the ten of cups someone is gonna get extremely lucky i mean extremely lucky y'all really excited about how i did my hair today because look at that isn't it just cute though Yo, but seriously though, let me just give you a brief synopsis of what this means, the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups talks about like, uh, 
let's say you're a jack of all trades and you fear that you you won't master anything it's better than that the ten of cups talks about like do i gotta find a booklet for you guys there it goes right there i'm gonna grab it Alrighty. because we're gonna have to read this because um this is some deep energy with the ten of cups you achieve the satisfaction of the soul you are happy you have received a blessing this card is related to joy to the moment when you feel safe loved and a company of people you love it is often tied to family joy any kind of family not necessarily blood related this card is about your community aquarius rules the community about the group of people you love and who love you at the same time it is about gratitude and the state of gratitude what are you grateful for right now what are you grateful for right now what makes you happy this is the time to celebrate your blessings and be aware of them joy of the soul blessings belonging to the community you guys i just see you belonging and for some people this may not be big but just imagine what it feels like to belong aquarius season is about having a community it's about having people it's about you know having people to talk to having people to connect with so in aquarius season it's like you're discovering um where you belong you're like finding your footing in a way and it's so funny because aquarius rules the legs as i'm saying i'm finding you're finding your footing i'm literally picking my leg up to put it over here so i'm getting you are finally being placed where you belong ten of cups to whoever i'm talking to whoever this message is res resonating with you are finding where you belong and aquarius season that's all aquarius season is about it's about getting to the point where you are healed to the point where you can even connect and and go places and be with people who makes the most sense to you i knew this would happen you guys that's why we got another light that one is so freaking bright that's okay but anyways, yeah, even at the bottom of the deck, you have the Three of Pentacles. And it's so interesting because, oh my goodness, the Three of Pentacles also talk about how Rome wasn't built in a day. So there's like collaboration energy going on. There's like communal collaborating, um, you know, coming together, you know, uh, just the Ten of Cups. It's just like an overjoy it's what happens after you get the nine of cups the nine of cups is like getting what you want but the ten of cups is like getting what you want alongside other people that also have the same goals and the same love and the same love languages as you and you guys you guys come together wow this is really beautiful this is so beautiful the eight of pentacles if you're working on a project this project is gonna be really good this project looks amazing this is it looks really amazing Aquarius season looks amazing wow what is this This is how you're gonna be. You're gonna be like, this is unbelievable. You got the King of Pentacles in the reverse. You're not, you're not accepting it. You're like, no, this isn't real. The sun, but it is, it is real. <laughs> yeah, for whatever reason, you're denying it. You're like, this isn't me. This isn't, no, this, this can't be me. You know, I'm just doing the work. You know, I'm not expecting anything. I'm just, I'm just doing me. I just got a message. Like, that was unexpected too. You're like, nah, not me. Like, nah, can't be. Nah, couldn't be. You know, whatever. But whatever this is, it is you. I'm on 
almost afraid to post this because for whatever reason it's just like I'm afraid it's like why why are you afraid it's almost like you want to prolong your um the thing is you can no longer hold back like you don't you can't hold back anymore there's no more hiding yourself you know no more holding back no more playing it small no more you know the hangman with the queen of pentacles it's like if you're going to hang you're gonna hang with the right fruit you know what i mean if you're gonna hang you're just hanging to isolate yourself to get yourself back ready like you know the sun it's like it's, it's no turning back oh my god the sun in the six of wands there's no turning back ain't no turning back y'all know what song ain't no stopping us now stopping us you guys what is the name of this song there is literally no stopping you and if if you needed a message there is there is your message ain't no stopping you okay ain't no stopping you now you might isolate you might take a break but you ain't stopping okay it's your girl my power source and i'm gonna see you guys on another on another on another on another video, 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 video. Yeah.